So what is the ABC conjecture anyway? It's a fairly recent conjecture. It was conjectured in 1985 by Masser and Osterle, um, but it has some very important consequences in number theory. So it's one of the most important conjectures uh, that are open. The way we usually state the conjecture is a bit technical, but the idea behind the conjecture is actually fairly simple. It just says that when you add up two numbers that are relatively prime and they have high powers in the factorization, the sum does not have high powers of primes in the factorization. So for example, two squared plus three squared, the sum of two powers, I get 13, a prime to the first power. One plus nine, that's 10, it's not prime, but it's just two times five, two primes to their first power. Nine plus 25, that's three squared plus five squared, that's two times 17, two primes to the first power, and so on. That's usually what happens, but not always. For instance, here are some examples that are exceptions to that quote-unquote rule, where we have high powers that add up to being another high power. So the conjecture says that these are very rare. In fact, the majority of all numbers do not have this property. And now the question is how to make that observation into a precise statement that we can uh, check and verify and try to prove. And what Osterle and Masser did was uh, the following observation, that if this phenomenon is going on, then there's going to be a lot of powers in the factorization of all three numbers. And in particular, if you sort of forget about the exponents, if you just look at the primes that are dividing these numbers, then the product of those primes must be smaller than any of the three numbers. In particular, it must be smaller than this number over here. So, um, for example, here, 2 times 7 times 3, that's 42, that's smaller than uh, 81. Or 1 times 2 times 3, that's 6, uh, that is smaller than 9. Or 2 times 11 times 5, that's 110, that's smaller than 125. So, that is happening and is correlated to the fact that there are a lot of prime powers in the factorizations of each of the three numbers in the equation a plus b equals c. So in order to state the conjecture, if we have a triple a plus b equals c, then we are going to consider what we call the radical of a times b times c, which is the product of all primes dividing the product a, b, c. So for example, the radical of 2 squared times 3 squared times 5 to the fourth would be just 2 times 3 times 5, so that's 30. So our previous observation can be summarized as follows, that typically, if a plus b equals c, and these are relatively prime numbers, then c is less than the radical of a times b times c. We're finally ready to state the ABC conjecture. It says that for any number epsilon bigger than zero, there is only finitely many triples a plus b equals c that are relatively prime and such that c is bigger than the radical of abc to the power of one plus epsilon.